Today marks a wonderful day. Welcome to the Yonia Health Podcast. This is episode four. We're here to cover quite a bit and in a short amount of time, and we're glad that you joined us today, most of all. We'd like to live, as we do so far, live life in measure. We look at quality of life, dignity in all areas of life, dignity in birth, dignity in middle adulthood, adulthood, towards our late adulthood, and also dignity in dying, in the art of dying. And to those who see it, I think in our society, we do have those who see the morbid side. The pros and the cons exist still. All cultures throughout various parts of history had their own place to talk about it. I'll never forget myself being a patient transporter in Northeast Ohio. And when it came to the circle of life is what I call it. I got to see one day someone or a spirit or a soul, whatever you'd like to call it, that left and was no longer there. It was the sixth floor. Never forget it. After that very job, I had to call in for a second transporter. The next job was a baby discharge. I don't know how else to speak of the circle of life, except for that very shift. And I'll never forget the distinction that came from the one call and the one job, which was the org job, to the baby discharge. I feel it is vital, especially not just this time in human history, but just in general, to be able to redefine our views in society. I've spoken with other healthcare professionals who've worked in and out of hospice and other various parts of healthcare that handle other stages of life. And many of them had said, at least from what I've found, that there are certain parts that don't make sense. There are certain protocols that don't line up. But believe it or not, they can all agree on one thing so far that I've found, and that's dignity. The dignity in the part of life we call dying and death. And I think it's something to acknowledge, because we do. Live life in measure. Things have beginning, middles, and ends. And it's to see what that looks like throughout time. There are various other hardships that can come through life if we've seen other signs of recovery and new rebirth. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's such a beautiful thing. What if you could have a space to be able to declare and talk about this? What if you didn't have to struggle with being able to have a voice when it came to this? What if there were options and services available in addition to being able to help with accessibility throughout life and quality of life, such as access to healthcare records, knowledge of how to even access them. And what if all of this could be done from the comfort of your own home in place of residence? Through such services as virtual nursing case management, remote education, and also combating such issues that we deal with in this world beyond that. These issues that we speak of come and go. And that's why, with this episode of the Yonia Health Podcast, I, Brett Pazelli, one of your hosts, bachelor who has a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, represent BU Art Holdings LLC via Yonia Health Inc. And business partner David Powers, CEO, president, and founder of Jun Powers Associates LLC. We're here to share exciting news with you in regards to dignity, in regards to moving forward and recreating. This is a critical time in our overall collaborated organization's history, as not only Jun Powers and Associate is celebrating 19 years of being in service, but also BU Art being able to celebrate. Not only the 50th episode of Empower, but also the launching of Yonia Inc., its pilot episodes, and also first three episodes which have already been made available. We need your support to make our vision a reality. By joining us in this campaign, you'll be helping us create a nurturing environment for those who need additional 
services, such as virtual case management and nursing services, and these can even be those for the homeless. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of those who need it most. Please join us on this campaign and help us create a nurturing environment for those who need and have needs. Together, we can make a difference in their lives and those who truly need it. Not only in that of having a voice, which you can access via Empower, that is to be the voice. And for those who need distinctions on what Yonia Health is, it is the service. We are here for service. So let's make this campaign spread like wildfire in the most and most uh, respectful and meaningful way. Let's start this conversation, if you haven't yet, of how we can revolutionize the way we approach personal health and wellness, design and construction management, real estate, finance, and all of that together to make a difference, to create a world where everyone can have access to affordable housing, mental health support, financial education, business development, personal health and wellness, and personal development training. I want to thank you all for your support. Let's make this happen. Please, if you can follow, share, like, subscribe, we will drop all of our other information down in the description. Thank you all, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.